This is the Epiphone SG Special Satin E1 in a vintage cherry. Let's check it out. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you're not new here, you're probably like, what are you doing? What? I never expected one of these. An Epiphone SG or an SG. That's probably the last guitar you expected to see on this channel. But that's fine. I'm branching out. I like to try new stuff. Um, checking out some new Epiphones recently and uh, we're checking it out. So before we get going, if you can give the video a like, if you do like the video, it helps the video get pushed out and it'd be really appreciated. Let's get it to 8 zillion likes. So here it is. So this is a deep dive of the Epiphone SG Special Vintage uh, Cherry, and they call this the E1, it's got a satin finish. And in a deep dive video, we go over everything. We talk about all the specs, we get inside the guitar, I'll open it up, I'll take apart some things, and it's very technical, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be too technical at this point. And then we'll play it, and you'll hear it, and then I'll give you a summary at the end, my pros and cons. So we'll start off by mentioning I bought this locally at a store called Long & McQuaid in Canada. And uh, I always recommend, if you, if you can, shop locally. If you, if you can get a guitar locally and you can, uh, why am I spitting? You can try it out, feel it in your hands first. That's always the best option, right? Maybe you're somewhere that doesn't have a guitar store or you just can't do it. So I do have affiliate links and uh, I've got most of the world covered. I've got Sweetwater. I've got Toman, I've got Amazon, take a look below. Affiliate link helps support the channel. Use those links, it gives me a little bit of compensation and it doesn't cost you anything more. So I can take that money and buy more of these things. So as of today in Canada, this is $279 and it was on sale for $249. So I can't say what the price will be while you're watching this or where you are in the world. Maybe it's a uh, you know, totally different price. But anyways, let's, let's start with a quick walkthrough and then we'll get into the deep dive. So top to bottom. So you see it's got the uh, Epiphone headstock some people don't like this uh, this style. Some people don't notice it, and I've just made you self-aware now of the headstock. And you're like, "What are you talking? What are you talking about? What, what headstock? What is it? What is a headstock? Um, it's a, it was a concert back in 1969. A bunch of people performed at headstock. Epiphone. So we've got six tuners. Again, I'm not going to mention full details until we get into uh, the detailed specs later on. Uh, coming down here, you've got a rosewood style fretboard. I, I it's not rosewood, but it's something else. Two humbuckers, it's a uh, bolt-on neck. I can't not do that joke anymore. It's just not possible. Uh, bolt-on neck, you can see it's got the uh, strap button on here, on the bottom. Two humbuckers, one volume, one tone, three-way toggle switch. You've got the bridge here, uh, output jack, little pick guard, pretty much, there you go. Modeled after like a Gibson SG from 1961. I if I'm correct. Usually I'm not though. There we go. Quick walkthrough. Let's get into the deep dive. Let's get things started. No more waiting. Well, we're going to wait the, we're going to weigh the guitar. I don't know. Bad one. 6.21 pounds, 2.81 kilos. Super light. So let's do some neck measurements here. Here's at the nut. It's like a 1.6 inch. And then down by the 12th fret. And then I usually do where it meets the body. Neck, meat, body, and then the last fret. That's not a fret. The last one wasn't a fret. So there we go. And uh, I just randomly pick like kind of halfway in the in the neck, and then thickness. And there we go. So let's open up the cavity. We got four screws on this little panel. It uh, was kind of stuck. I had to stick a pick and like slide it up right there, get it off. Um, and here's and then the back of the uh, the plate has some shielding. You can see some close-ups here. Let's zoom in to the output jack. There we go. It's an output jack. And here's one of the pots. It's, it's a pot. And then over to um, the switch. Look at that. It's a switch. And then over another pot. These are uh, mini alphas. Nope, maybe they're not alpha. Actually, I couldn't see a brand name on it. I, mini alpha is something I say all the time. People are like, how are you doing? I'm like, mini alpha. They're like, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, put it back together. And then uh, we're going to take uh, the measurement of the resistance, 7.99 for the neck, 
uh, in the middle, 5.3, and then the bridge is hot, 15. That's a hot one. Okay, loosen the strings. I used to take the strings off completely, and then I discovered, you know, you can just loosen the strings to get to get into the guitar. I just took the pick guard off for no other reason than to show you that you can take the pick guard off. And I've done a great job at doing that. So we're going to take the pickups out, and it's four screws, and you can just slide it there. See, look at the, the finesse. I was being very careful not to scratch the body on this super expensive guitar. I, you know what? It doesn't matter if the guitar is expensive or not. I don't want to damage a guitar. It kind of looks like a face. It looks like a robot, two eyes and teeth. Here's inside the cavity, routed out for the humbucker. That was the bridge pickups. Now we'll do the, the neck pickup. Same deal. Pull it out there. And then an upside, upside down face. He's got the teeth on his head instead. And that's it. That's uh, pretty simple. So then put it back together. If I could just do it this fast in person, it would be a lot. You know, it saved me a lot of time. Okay, I don't know if uh, I'm just losing it, but I can't find this guitar on Epiphone's official website, but I found the specs listed on Sweetwater, on Long and McQuaid, and all the different sites that sell it. So I'm gonna go with one of those. I'm taking a look at Sweetwater's site. So let's start. Let's start with the body. It's a solid body. The body shape is SG. Did you know that stands for solid guitar? Anyways, the uh, body material is poplar. The top material is a mahogany veneer. So it's a mahogany, that sounds really weird when I'm saying that, mahogany thin layer on top of a poplar body. The body finish is vintage worn and it's a cherry color. Now getting to the neck, the neck material is okorn and the neck shape is 60s slim taper D profile. The neck joint is a bolt on, which we've discussed before, 12 inch radius. It's rosewood fingerboard material. I'm really skeptical of that. I don't know, I, I haven't seen rosewood like that before. M maybe, I'm not a rosewood expert. Maybe it's a different type of rosewood, okay? Perloy dots for the fingerboard inlay. inlay. Uh, number of frets is 22 medium jumbo. And the scale length is 24.75 inch. Nut width, uh, 1.6875 inch. Nut material is Graph Tech New Bone. Hardware. Lock tone, tunematic bridge is for the bridge tailpiece. Tuners are closed gear, 14 to one ratio. Now getting into the electronics, we've got a 650R ceramic eight humbucker for the neck pickup. The bridge pickup is a 700T ceramic eight humbucker. The controls are one master volume, one master tone. Switching is a three-way toggle pickup switch. And the strings are Gibson 10 to 46, and it comes in a box.
back from the deep dive. I'm just saying that for myself because I, I don't remember. And uh, you got to see it up close. You got to hear it. You got to see what's inside the guts. You got all the specs, the weight and all that stuff. And uh, that stuff's important and you want to know it. So there you go. It's not that important to me, but some people it's important to some people. I just pick up a guitar. If I like the neck, that's, that's what's important to me. All right. So we'll get into my summary and this will be like my pros and cons and what I think of the guitar. So let's start with the pros. Um, overall, no complaints about the assembly. It's well assembled. It's fine. Like it, uh, it's very no frills. If you've played other guitars that are more expensive, you'll you'll pick this one up and be like, okay, it's uh, very plain and uh, very uh, very normal. <laughs> um, I'd say it's uh, a pro. It could be a good modding platform. You can take this guitar and upgrade a bunch of the parts. And I've seen people comment in my other videos and mention that they've done that to other. Epiphones at this price level. It's very light and one thing to mention it's not neck heavy and uh, a lot of SG's can be Neck heavy and the balance isn't good So what I mean by that is if you hold it up like this you see the body's heavier than the neck Sometimes the neck is heavier on these SG's because the body size is very slim, right? So the body can be lighter than the actual neck and headstock and then it'll get give you neck dive Which is what they call it because the neck will dive down and why is that an issue? It's, it's a balance thing, but also it could fall and hit the headstock and then headstock would be over. And uh, one last thing to mention, the price is pretty, pretty fair. It has jumped though in the last year or so. I remember these being under $200. So yeah, but that's, everything has gone up, right? Everything has gone up, even my blood pressure. Getting into the cons. And I always like to mention that this is one specimen out of how many guitars did they make? How many, how many do you think they made of this? Probably. 10,000, 20 million, 80 billion, I have no idea, a lot, right? So this is one specimen, so not every guitar is gonna be exactly the same. Every guitar is unique and like a snowflake. So first thing I'll mention, it does have sharpish fret, 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 sharp fret ends. Not bad though, they're not terrible. You can run your hand down, I'm not cutting my hand. Not cutting my hand, there you go. They're just a little bit picky, I noticed them right away. So that's, that's something you'll, uh, my next con is the uh, the fretboard looks like it looks like cardboard. I'll be honest, because I, I don't want to lie. I'll be honest. And I, I did a review on an Epiphone Les Paul special last year, and it was the same thing. Very uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Maybe it doesn't bug you. And now I'm pointing out things people are gonna be like, oh, I don't like it anymore because you mentioned that. Good job. And the last thing I mentioned, the electronics. They're always cheaper in these. The switch actually feels okay. But the actual electronics in it are pretty, uh, pretty standard, cheap stuff for what you get with this, with this kind of guitar. And the tuners are cheap as well. Uh, one of them was kind of like I could feel it skipping a little bit, which isn't good. And you're like, why does that matter? Well, because uh, maybe over time your guitar won't stay in tune with the tuners and uh, the electronics. Maybe things will wear out. It's hard to say. You just, it's, it's a gamble, but it's something that, like I mentioned, you can mod it and upgrade it. So overall. No surprises. It's exactly what I would expect for a beginner starter guitar. And I don't care if you don't like the word beginner, I'm using it. This is a beginner's guitar. There you go. Take it or leave it. Uh, there's no glaring issues. Would I recommend it? For sure. Yeah, I'd recommend it for starting out uh, or for modders, maybe more experienced players, people that have had other higher end guitars, they'd, they'd see it and be like, I don't really like it, but maybe I want a project guitar. I want to learn how to do soldering or I'm new to guitar. There's, there's so many different variables and varieties of people in the world. I can't speak for everybody, so I'm trying to lay it out and uh, try to cover all the bases. Okay, as I mentioned before, there are affiliate links if you did want to get it. 
I don't know where you can get it, where you are in the world. Actually, leave a comment. Let me know where you are. I get a lot of comments, people saying like, I can't get this brand of guitar in country X. And if you live in country X, why did they name it country X? That's the weirdest name for a country ever. Actually, you know what, for, for, uh, for a time capsule kind of idea, leave me a comment below. How much is this guitar in your country today, currently? And then people can look back in, in future years. Maybe you're watching this in five years and you'll be like, oh my God, the price, look at it. The price back then, it was insanely too much. And now it's way worse. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows where prices are going? We'll see in a year. And you can leave me a comment too. What's your experience with these, these Epiphone specials? This is like the, uh, the entry level Epiphone guitars, right? All right, as always, play guitar and have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.